Hey guys, and welcome back to another Waco Taco Gaming video. And in today's video, I'm going to be playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. You may be asking, why am I playing a game that's almost two years old at this point? Good question. Because this game is actually available for free if you have PlayStation Plus. So I decided that I've always wanted to play this game. I always thought about buying it. And well, now that it's with PS Plus, you can get it for free for this month of April. So you got about, I'd say, maybe less than a week. I'd, yeah, you got about less than a week to get this game. And you can get it completely for free, have it forever. So I suggest you get it now while you can for absolutely free. Just add it to your library, even if you're not going to play it. Who knows, maybe one day you do want to play it. I mean, it's SpongeBob. Who doesn't even want to try that? But enough of me talking. So this game has... It's a, it's a single-player game for the most part. The campaign... This is a, re a remaster or a remake, I should say, because this game was like on the PlayStation 2. So this is a very old game. They literally just made the graphics nicer. That's basically all they did in this port. And they added a very disappointing multiplayer mode. I played a very little bit. Like, you can play public online, private online, or join an online game. I played local multiplayer because all of the other options didn't work. The, the servers were too full that it just didn't work because uh, the servers are only two players But for some reason the servers host like 20 people at a time. It's the dumbest thing ever. I don't know why it does that But so yeah, these didn't work and then local multiplayer. It was boring. I'm not gonna lie I played a little bit of it and I quit halfway through and I was just like this is pretty boring I'm not gonna lie. It's very easy and I get Spongebob, you know, it's for little kids, but Damn, it was just too easy too easy and really nothing to do and yeah, and I already created a save, so I'm going to create a new one just to show a little bit of it. Because I really haven't played the first save. So I wanted to keep it kind of fresh for the video so that I'm kind of new to things because I don't to know much about bottom, it. A normally peaceful undersea sanctuary, today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror. Wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Any of this Today cutscenes. is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap book. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? No, 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 wait, wait, but I'm your master! I made you! No, no, oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. 
Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Wow. Alright, so that's basically the story. Plankton is again an idiot. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix... Wow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. All right, so that's basically it. And as you saw in the cutscenes, that's one thing I don't know if this game has or not, but the cutscenes, it took some time to load in some of the parts of it, so you could tell that it's not very well done. Because from what I know, this game was not reviewed, reviewed so well. It shines! By critics and... Uh, like... Audiences, I guess you would say? I, I shouldn't be skipping that, wait. But yeah, just the fact that, I mean, like I said, I don't know if I'll play through the whole game. Depends on how I can, if I find it fun or not, because I really haven't played that much. But, just the fact that, I mean, I'm sure most kids today, right, grew up watching Spongebob. And for me, just being able to explore Spongebob's house like, as if you're in the show, it's, it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Now we're in his bedroom, literally. I mean, who doesn't like Spongebob? I think that's a better question. Spongebob's... Not seen the game, but... You see, like, they even got a photo of him. I forgot what episode that is, but I used to watch Spongebob a lot. Damn. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, now we're in his library. Or attic, whatever. You guys know what I mean. If only, the only thing that would have made this better is if this game was multiplayer. Not the dumb. This is where I keep all my old comic books. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Maybe it'd be fun if you're like not so good at video games. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Otherwise, though, I don't think it'd be very fun. Or, I don't know, maybe playing with someone. This is where Probably I keep all fun. my old comic books. I love opening Personally, presents. it was not very fun for me, though. A little bounce on the old bed. I wonder if there's photos like this that reference other episodes in this game. I'd be willing to bet there probably is. Oh, got it. Ah! Alright, I think we just about explored everything. Like I said, I really haven't played much. I've really only played his house and right outside his house. Barely played anything of Jellyfish Fields, which is literally like the first level. Haven't played anything. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. 
Go away, SpongeBob. You're trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. All right, Plankton, be Plankton. So I'm gonna... Oh, and Mr. Krabs, I don't even want to talk to Mr. Krabs, but I think you guys are gonna have to lower your volume for this because his voice, I have no clue who they casted for him. It's not his original voice actor. And let me tell you guys, it's not good at all. It doesn't sound anything like his original. The moment I heard that, I was like, aw, that's disappointing. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. All right. Uh, I told you guys his voice is horrible. All right, I just activated some platforms. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man! But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Alright, I already knew that, but... It's Bubble Buddy, so I'm gonna play. Too pretty! Can't take it! Yeah. Oh! That was, a mis that was a mistake as well. What was I thinking? Let me just drop these guys. New areas, Gula Goons over there. But that part's pretty cool about the game, not gonna lie. The whole exploring the entire uh, the entirety of Bikini Bottom. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about SpongeBob. Just this game and now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. I feel like a new sponge. Because personally, I think SpongeBob is awesome. Or at least was awesome. I just love the way... I don't know, I just think it was really funny back then. And honestly, I haven't watched much SpongeBob today, so I have no clue if it's still good. I'd be willing to bet it's still fine, but... The older episodes are always going to be the best. And then I believe we're done with everything here, right? Oh no, we didn't talk to him. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. But okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. All right. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back.
Alright, I think we should go now, I believe. Yeah, because we can't go. Alright, yeah. We're going jellyfish fields. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! SpongeBob's face right there. Oh my. Oh. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Alright. I love opening presents! Take that! Alright, so while we're playing this game, uh, I think I kinda wanted to talk about a SpongeBob conspiracy theory that I literally just thought about the box it's the box from the episode you see this is why this game could be good because they include so many references to the spongebob show like his face that was perfect i believe that was from the movie, we can't jellyfish the first movie. i'm going fishing for robots Fresh, so as i was saying like my spongebob theory or conspiracy theory is not just how is the fire like the water or any of that because that could that could all be because well it's just a simple show and so could Fresh, this conspiracy like theory i'm about breeze. to say but I've always thought it's more of a, it's a better question. So Patchy the Pirate, we all know Patchy the Pirate. He's not underwater, he's, he's, the, he's literally the pirate. We all know him, we all love him. He's an amazing character, he's casted by the same guy that voices Spongebob. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So how is he, so is he just really like, or is he crazy? Because how, how is it possible that he's talking to Spongebob? Like. He's always mentioning Spongebob. He's the president of the Spongebob fan club. So, and isn't it also mentioned or the fact that Spongebob exists in the real world? So now we got Spongebob living in the real world and Patchy the Pirate as the fan club of Spongebob? I mean, because we see in the Trusty Slab episode that they do definitely both exist in the same world. We know that for sure because in the trusty slab episode it was an it's a it's a more recent one uh we see spongebob going above land and, and patchy the pirates like right next to him the entire time and it's just like how is that possible so is patchy either really crazy that he's imagining this or some something's going on right because it should be impossible Another by logic that patchy could live in the same world as spongebob so spongebob is not a show in their world because it's understandable if he's a show in their world and Patchy's just like extra and he's just a really big fan of the show. No, 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 he's not. He's in the world. Which still, how did Patchy find Spongebob? And how is the whole world not freaking out about these fishes coming out of water? Talking fishes coming out of water. Just questions to think about. But that Patchy one has always stuck with me. Oh, you can't do... I thought you could do triangle in the air. Triangle is the... This move, the fly up. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. I feel like a new sponge. 
Wait, I wanna... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I wanna purposely get hit to see like your facial expression. Breeze. But I'm good. Never mind. I spent too much time getting all these clips. Just my size. Do some stuff, you know, for the video. Oh, what the? Can he sting me? No, he can't. What the heck is being shot? I feel like a new sponge. What's shaking? Wow! 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 A bungee jump! All right, let's go get on them. Oh, King Jellyfish is over here, though. All right, I guess I'll go for that right now. I could always go back and get some stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. It's pulling on his. Oh my god. He could, he's all exposed. Alright. Alright, so far I'm liking this game, not gonna lie. Other than the multiplayer, like I said, I'm still really disappointed in that. I mean, I guess they added a multiplayer. And you could definitely tell that it is meant for younger audiences, of course. Doesn't mean you still can't enjoy it, a multiplayer. We're, we are just watching a man get absolutely destroyed. And we're just gonna let that happen? I do not think so. Okay, that was easy. I forgot you can crouch. You see, it's his little facial expressions that make this game just so much better. Because on its own, you're right, it's just a very simple platformer, 3D platformer. But with all this stuff in it, it makes it so much better. I love opening presents. Oh, what? Fresh like a spring breeze. I fell off the map for re all right. Wait, do I? I've never fell off the map. Oh, I gotta save this dude again. All right, there you go. But like I was saying, I think this would be a perfect game. We got some younger family members, or you just really love SpongeBob, you know? Cause like me, I'm not that young anymore. And I still really like Spider-Man. I think this would be a pretty good game. Like I said, I still can't stop talking about how dude the multiplayer is, but I can't acknowledge the fact that... Wait, what? Uh... Wait, you learn moves in this game? Alright. Oh, we're blowing. How long are these worlds? Because I just need to know that. Bye bye. Nope. Oh, yes. You've just met the Spongeinator. That looks like a tongue, but it's not. I feel like a new sponge. A box. What? Oh, it's a what box? It's imagination. Just my size. Ow. 
Okay, I was not expecting that. We got another golden spatula. I have no clue what you're supposed to do with these. Maybe they unlock areas. Actually, no, they do. I forgot. In SpongeBob's house. This should be the last part, maybe? I just want to fight this dude. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs- Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my- Well, if massaging your feet was- Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my tone- Here I come! Alright. Honestly, I didn't realize that they changed Mermaid Man's voice actor. Which is understandable, at least for him, because he's dead. The real voice actor of Mermaid Man is actually dead, which is sad, you know. But honestly... Oh, we're surfing now, alright. But I honestly thought they would reuse the voices from, like, the PS2 days, because he wasn't dead then. I still don't understand. That was a ton of fun! Oh, I should do it do again sometime! It? He's unreachable? Please, this will be easy. It gets absolutely destroyed. Yep, they, apparently it's being heavily guarded. That I don't I don't think that was heavily guarded. If I was paying these guys to guard this, I would I would honestly I would demote them. Like a spring breeze. Now we're golden. The music's pretty good in this game, not gonna lie though, at least so far. Hey, SpongeBob! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around is... Okay. Oh, I forgot. You can oh, play as Patrick. And Sandy. They're playable characters in the main story. But they have different moves. So... Patrick is the strong boy. He can lift everything, basically. Everything when needed. Yeah, he just... He just yeeted that watermelon. But he can't do any of the Spongebob's more unique moves. He can still smash, I guess. That was a pretty strong smash. Yeah, he's just the strong boy. And later on, we'll unlock Sandy. I have no clue when, but he's doing a lot you got to carry a lot of stuff around. This is pretty cool. Yeet it. Alright, look, look. I'm going to show you guys how good I am at aiming. I'm going to hit those balloons. Reload. No, not that. It's locking onto the button. No! One more time, one more time. Can't get close enough. Without the button locking on. Yeah, alright. But I think that'll be the video, guys. Can he sneak too? No, Patrick can't sneak either. Overall, I think SpongeBob's probably better so far. But I think Sandy is the best character, I believe. But they do have some pretty good distinctions Ooh, from, from each other. Never... And I forgot how you... Come on. 
Uh, I'm able to tell you later how to switch. Maybe you need Patrick right now. But alright, I'm gonna call that a video, guys, because it's been pretty long, actually. This game is pretty long. It's a pretty good game. I'd suggest you guys should buy it. I think it's $30? Free for PlayStation Plus users. You got about a week left. I say you guys should hop on this deal. This is an amazing deal. Activate your PlayStation Plus if you haven't already. And get your free PS Plus trial. And yes, definitely give this game a try. For either your youngsters in the house or yourself in that really little SpongeBob. And that, I'm gonna call it a video. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.